In this video, I want to see if the hard brand FFP2 mask is a mask that can finally challenge the fit and filtration of the venerable 3M Aura. Now, I have a hard to fit high bridge nose on my medium sized face, and the 3M Aura is a mask that fits absolutely great, but other trifolds, not so much. A lot of people really like this hard brand FFP2 trifold mask, so maybe it's finally going to be the one that can fit me. Okay, I've got the particle count going, and I've got the FFP2 mask with a port, and we're going to test it with this sampling machine. And uh, this hose is going to sample the inside of the mask once we attach it. And then this hose will sample outside the mask, and we'll compare the two. And the difference is what we'll call the fit factor. It's how much cleaner the mask is inside. Okay, I can already tell this is not going to pass on me because I can feel the leak here. Uh, the nose wire is just uh, not strong enough. Um, I, I had hoped this mask was going to be a really strong nose wire, and it's not terrible, but it's not good enough for um, my big high nose bridge. It really needs to keep the wires conformed to my nose, and it's just not doing it. But we'll see how well it does uh, as soon as I finish purging the mask. A fit factor of 10. Um, so it's a little better than I thought it might be at 10. Uh, that means it leaks 10%. Um, it's 10 times cleaner inside the mask, so that's a leak of 10%. Uh, that's, uh, it's on par with some of the KF94s I've tried. It's uh, not any better or any worse than those. So a little bit disappointing. Also, this mask rides high up into my lower eyelid. That's not comfortable. So um, I think there are other masks that I would prefer to wear. Uh, you still do get some protection with a fit factor of 10, and you might get much better results because you might not have the same nose bridge I have. Now, we're going to compare this to the 3M Aura, but we're going to do a special comparison. So, to be fair, I'm going to compare the, uh, the hard FFP mask to a 3M Aura where I have uh, cut the headbands in half and tied them into ear loops. So, that's going to compare an ear loop mask to an ear loop mask, and we'll see if the 3M Aura can do better than this mask using only ear loops. Okay. Okay, 303. Um, that means that uh, this mask is way better than this mask, uh, even though they both use ear loops. So this is not going to be a replacement for my uh, 3M Aura. Um, 303 means that there's a total inward leakage in this mask of about a third of 1% as opposed to 10% leakage with this mask, and they both have ear loops. Now, the ear loops are a little bit tighter on this just because of the way they're tied and hacked. Um, so, I want to compare these two masks and see maybe if we can upgrade this mask using parts from this mask. All right, the first modification I'm going to make is that I am going to put 3M Aura straps onto the uh, FFP2 hard mask, and then we'll go from there. All right, I have put the Aura straps onto the FFP2 hard mask, and we're going to see if those give a big difference in terms of fit factor. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but let's take a look at what we did here. So I have put a sacrificial bit of Aura strap under the staple because the 3M Auras use a round wire and are gentler on these uh, polyisoprene straps, and I don't want them to break during the test here. Okay, I've got the uh, mask on. I can feel a little bit more uh, tension from the 3M Aura straps, but I'm still getting a leak here at the nose wire, and that's because uh, the nose wire is just not stiff enough to hold its shape, and that can be a problem even when you add more tension because weak nose wires, if you push them down and then pull the straps tight, it actually straightens back out because they're too weak to conform to your nose. So you need tension plus a strong nose wire if you've got a high nose bridge like I do. But we might still be getting a, be uh, we might still be getting a better fit, so we're going to find out with the mask fit tester. Okay, 7.7. Um, I don't think that the straps made it worse. So I, I did another take earlier that uh, flubbed and I got a 12. So I think just how precisely you get the nose wire is what's going to make a difference more than this tension right now. 
Um, so 7.7 .7 and a 12 versus the earlier 10 with the original ear loop straps. I'm going to say that the uh, ear loops versus the ore straps is not making a difference. Now, because the nose wire is just not working well, we're going to try out a 3M nose wire in place of the original nose wire. So let's, uh, let's compare the 3M nose wire. So as you can see, the nose wire in the hard mask is this little twin wire with thin little wires. Whereas this, this 3M nose wire, is a solid piece of metal um, that's uh, much thicker than those wires. Think of how many of those little wires you'd have to have to be as thick uh, as this piece of metal, both side by side and on top of each other. So clearly the hard mask is a completely inferior nose wire. Notice that they are uh, the same length. So I think that's uh, about 80 millimeters if I remember correctly. Okay, I've, I'm adding this little piece of tape to make sure that no one thinks that there's a leak coming out that uh, little slit that I, I got for the uh, nose wire. But also remember that the nose wire is at the very top of the mask, and um, I don't think you're going to get a whole lot of leak through this uh, piece of filter here, even if I didn't have that. One of the reasons I tested the headbands first is because now I can go back to using the ear loops and test just the nose wire with the original ear loops. I've got the hard FFP2 mask back on with the 3M nose wire and we're using the original ear loops. And we're going to see if the nose wire makes a big difference even without changing out the ear loops. All right, 31. Okay, so I think um, 31 is enough difference for me to say that's significant. It's uh, a bigger difference than say 10 to 12 um, by a lot. So. An improved nose wire uh, could make the hard mask a better mask, for me at least. Uh, not sure if it would help you because you might not have the same issues I've got. So next up, we're going to go new nose wire plus the Aura headbands and see if those two together make a difference. I've got the 3M headbands on and the 3M Aura nose wire and it's feeling a lot more secure. And I think this is an improvement. So we're going to test it and see if my perception is reality. All right, uh, 43, I think that's probably an improvement. Um, I'm not going to say for sure, but 43 is more than 30, and it seems significant. I felt like there might be a little bit of a leak at the side here. Um, the way I've attached these, you know, maybe the doubling up with the aura straps is providing uh, extra space, and it's not fitting as tightly. So I'm still not quite getting aura performance from this, but there's still one more measure to go, and that's the nose foam. So I have stuck this uh, in with uh, mask tape, double sticky mask tape. For this test, we're going to do ear loops and 3M nose wire plus nose foam to see if we can get a better fit still using ear loops, but also using the improved nose wire and nose foam. 56. Okay, that seems to be enough of a difference to suggest that the nose foam really does help. Uh, as long as you've got this 3M nose wire, even if you're using ear loops. So let's do the final test and let's put the headbands on and see what the whole package does. Fifty. All right, so we um, we didn't get the jump that I was hoping to get um, between the ear loops and the um, headbands, but it looks like an improved nose wire plus nose foam makes a big difference. So if you hack this mask a whole bunch, you can get it to work as six, one sixth as well as a 3M Aura. So this is 50 times cleaner inside once I put the 3M Aura headbands on, the 3M Aura nose wire, and the 3M Aura foam. And I got 50 times cleaner, 3M Aura, without me having to do anything. And with me cutting the headbands in half and tying them into ear loops, still gave me a score of 300. So for me, this is uh, not going to be the mask I'm going to be using. It's just not giving me enough protection, even if I hack it. Uh, the boring but really good 3M Aura, even if you cut the headbands in half, is still the superior mask. Uh, your fit may vary. You may get uh, great results with this, but I, I think this is still going to be a mask that is the one you should try first.